Hello and welcome to Gerston Down in Wiltshire for the latest round of the MCL Motorhome British Hill Climb Championship 2009. The runners and riders are here this weekend. Unfortunately, the weather's not quite so good as you can see. Despite having glorious weather for practice yesterday, we've had constant drizzle for the competition runs today. I don't think it's dampened anyone's spirits. As well as the usual runners and riders that are here at Gerston, championship contenders, we've got a familiar face in a pretty unfamiliar car. Simon Marsh, qualifier from Shelsley Walsh a couple of weeks ago, is running, having his first run in this ADR3 sports racing car. It's a circuit racing car with a space frame chassis, Honda engine, Hewland gearbox. Simon's got one of these cars on order for next year for hill climbing with a Hayabusa engine, but he's having a quick go in the automotive engine car to see what he thinks of it. Let's go straight. Simon Marsh, a new toy for you to play with this weekend. What are your first impressions of it? Well, <coughs> this is the official ADR works car. Um, I've just ordered one of these, um, okay. but with a bike engine in it. I took a decision that I wanted a, a two-seater and I wanted a sports car and a strong one, not just a hill climb car. I wanted right. something to do sprints as well. I wanted to have a go at that and the odd track day. I wanted to be able to take people for a ride every now and then and have a bit of a laugh with it and, and get a bit more drive time. So I went to ADR and uh, promised me a, a very good car, I think. And um, unfortunately, it wasn't quite ready. The whole shot um, engines were waiting for a batch of crankshafts to come over from America. So ADR honoured my entry at this meeting and gave me their works car to have a go in. I mean, it's, it's a pure circuit car, and this is one of their um, class leading cars um, in the open sports car series that they run in. Absolutely. Well, they're very successful in that series, aren't they? And I guess that must be what's pointed you towards this car. You said you wanted a strong car. Um, it goes through all the circuit crash processes that it has to go to go through, so it must be pretty solid bit of kit. That's right. They've got all the FIA papers for the for the about seven tons or something amazing right. on, on these corners and about four tons on the side or something and there's a crash box fi certified crash box on the front um which gives you a bit more peace of mind and you know they've, they've recently revised the chassis and, and raised the roll hoop slightly so you sit lower effectively in the car and it's yeah. a bit more around you this circuit car it's never been on a hill climb before um they've supplied me with some hill climb tires and a softer set of pads okay that helps so the way you go gonna have a go in it um i've given it back to them in one piece and had a great weekend absolutely well, um, it certainly looks great up there i mean you, you're used to driving the gould on the hills it must feel really quite different compared to the power and the and the agility you've got in the gould yeah there's a, there's a it's a big car there's a lot of width to it um when you look at it, but actually it's no wider than the Gould is overall. And um, I think my fortune of being able to drive the Gould has meant that I've, I've had some experience of a very quick car, and it means potentially I might be able to bring these on, you know, and, and sort of be able to push them a bit harder. Um, and ADR are very keen to work with me to develop my, my car with a bike engine. Um, and and the, there is a potential of developing any sort of engine in the back, a V6 or a V8 or anything. Um, so that's where I'm hoping to go with it. But again, not, not purely as a hill climb car, it's just a, a multi-discipline car and just going to have a bit of fun with it. A bit of fun, absolutely. Yeah. Good stuff. Well, it certainly looks like it's fun and yeah. I bet you're going to have a, a ball next year with it. Best yeah, of luck for that. So. Thank you very much. Okay. Cheers. Back to you, Jerry. Thanks, James. Well, Simon's normal mount is the V6 Gould single-seater that was run by his late father, Tony Marsh, and which his brother Peter is driving here at Gerson today. But now the crew push this very different ADR work sports car through the paddock and up to the start line for the class runs. So let's ask Simon himself to guide us through his run in these miserably wet conditions. Well, the marshal's called me forward. I'm just going to um, spin the wheels, see if there's any grip at all. It's the first time I'm running wets on this car and first time running in, in a properly wet track. So moving to the right hand side of the, the start line which seems to be where everybody's uh, preferred to go this morning. Um, waiting for the green light. Visor's already down, I'm ready to go. There we go. Just check the instruments. I'm not going to look for five and a half thousand revs this time, I'm just going to try and feel it off the line. Here we go. It's tramping quite a lot. And then we get clear of the tree and clear of the rubber and it got some grip again now, so up into second, catch third. And just take it really a little bit cautiously into uh, hollow here because I've been understeering somewhat through here. I'm just feeling it gently through, gently onto the brakes a little bit early, drop it into second. Turned in nicely, it seems to be a bit more grip now. Um, oh, lots of understeer here. A uh, little, little squirm up, up over Deer's Rise, carefully into uh, Ashes, don't want to understeer out of there and then uh, plant the throttle and hope, uh, yeah, we've got some grip and it's, um, it's accelerating nicely up into third. Hold it gently over the line, wait to, to back off and, and now we start to slow down. 